This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. So you, you're thinking of getting a heat treatment done for bed bugs. So you're thinking of doing a heat treatment. That's how it all started. That was the beginning of my YouTube career if you can call it a career, really more of a hobby. But here I am to help you. I've been helping hundreds, if not thousands of people all over the world get rid of their pest problems and uh, figure out how to do things on their own without even hiring a professional. People ask me, why would you do that? Why would you, as an exterminator, put yourself out there, give away uh, truth, give away secrets, trade secrets? Why would you tell people the pesticides that work for bugs when they could just hire you and you could take care of them? You know, what, what do I have to gain from telling you how to get rid of your bed bugs on your own? How you can get rid of your roaches, how you can get rid of your fleas, how you can get rid of spiders and silverfish and springtails and you name it, I talk about it on this channel. What do I have to gain? Honestly, just satisfaction, knowing that you don't have bugs. I've grown up in the pest control industry my entire life. I'm a second generation pest control technician. I've been licensed since I was 17, and I've been working really honestly off and on since I was six years old. Um, I'm 39. That's 33 years for those that need the math. But if you like this video, I want to say this first before you click off. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. We're going to go over heat treatments. We're going to go over whether or not they're viable, whether or not they are uh, something that you should spend your money on. Uh, and if not, what should you do? How should you get rid of this problem? The bed bugs are driving you crazy. You can't sleep at night. They're keeping you awake. You may have even been having problems sleeping for up to a year. People call me on the phone and they say that they've been fighting for bed bugs for years. They've been fighting them for years and they haven't been able to sleep good in a long time. They've done crazy things like spray pesticides on themselves just to try to keep the bugs away. and that's not a solution. That's not going to fix your problem. Um, will a heat treatment, you know, you call an exterminator. <clears throat> he comes in your house and he tries to push some kind of a sale, whether it's a liquid treatment, whether it's a heat treatment, whether it is a, you know, maybe it's an all natural treatment. Uh, what is an actual solution for bed bugs? Where is your money best spent? Um, heat is something that I have always been against. It, it started my channel and it's been on my mind since I started my channel. It's something I talk about pretty regularly. In fact, if you check into my live streams every Thursday nights, I talk about heat treatments. I talk about bed bugs. I talk about these problems that plague the industry. And it really sets us back as pest control technicians because these plans that are being sold to customers don't work and it makes us look like we have no idea what we're doing and we're the professionals and we're supposed to know and so the problem is is you go in somebody's house and you're the salesman and you're gonna sell somebody a heat treatment and it's several thousand dollars to do this treatment in fact the last one that I heard the, the cheapest one that I've heard was eighty eight hundred dollars it was eight hundred dollars so not eighty uh, eight hundred dollars they were gonna treat uh, the families upstairs. There were like three bedrooms upstairs. They were gonna treat that, and then they were just gonna spray the downstairs with the pesticide residual. And that's not gonna work, because if you turn your heat machine on, you're just gonna chase the bed bugs from one room that has the heat on to the room that doesn't have any heat. And this is one of the biggest issues with heat treatments. So 
If you take your pillows and your comforters and your sheets and your clothes and all the things that you can throw into the washer and the dryer, and you wash and dry on high heat water and high heat dry, as hot as your dryer will get, you will kill your bed bugs. And this is what a technician will come into, or a salesman, I should say, will come into your house and this is what they will sell you. They will say, well, uh, this is how you kill bed bugs on your own. And the way that we kill bed bugs as the professional is we take a machine, we set it up in your room, we turn the heat on, it's super, super hot, it gets the room basically like an oven, and we cook them and we kill them, and it tastes like fried fish and it's delicious. Nah, I just added that part, that's not true. But uh, <laughs> they, they basically turn your house into an oven. They get the temperatures up and above 300, uh, 130 degrees. If they don't tell you that the, that the temperature will be above 130 degrees, they won't be able to kill your bed bugs anyway because the eggs have to reach w uh, over 125 to die. The, the adults are 118 and the eggs are 125. So if you're a technician is not going to turn the heat up to at least 130 or more, you will not be able to get rid of your bed bugs with the heat treatment anyway, no matter how hard you try. So that's number one. Number one, you need to understand that. And the thing is, is what happens when the heat is off? All right, let me put it to you this way. You just bought a house or an apartment. Maybe you just signed your lease to your apartment or you just signed over for your mortgage and you're getting ready to move in and you walk through, the house or the apartment look great. They've probably had a fresh coat of paint. The walls are immaculate. The, you know, the countertops are all clean. The floor looks like it's been freshly uh, steam cleaned, maybe even fresh brand new carpet's been installed. Man, it looks great. It's almost like a brand new house or at least it's new to you and you move in and within two or three days you start getting these itchy spots on your body and you're like what is this and you're scratching and you're scratching your shoulders and you're scratching your arms and you've got these bug bites on your arms and on your legs and you you get up one morning and you think well maybe it is bed bugs and you turn over your mattress and there they are between your mattress and your box spring and you're like you never had them before so where did they come from where did the bed bugs come from if you walk through and you mean you didn't see them, where were they? So this is the reason heat treatments don't work. Because bed bugs like to retreat into the wall to hide their eggs. They go into the wall. They go in around your light sockets and your uh, plug outlets, um, down behind your baseboards, up around your crown molding, behind uh, curtain rods, through screw holes in the wall. They'll get onto your picture frames and they will work their way in and around screws that are hanging in the wall and nails. And this is what bed bugs do. Bed bugs retreat to the cracks and the crevices. Those are places they like to live. If they're not on your bed, then they are in the wall. And the wall is full of insulation. So what happens is the insulation protects the bed bugs from the heat treatment. And the wall does not reach 100 through 130 degrees. It just doesn't. It can't if the insulation is working properly. I mean, there are places in the world that get up above 120 degrees. That, especially in the summertime, down around the tropical regions of the world, Texas, Florida, different places get up to 115, 116, 118 easily in the summertime. And the house stays nice and cool inside because you've got insulation in the walls and you've got your air conditioning on and so it keeps cold air in and the hot air out well in the winter time when it's you know minus 10 degrees outside and uh in fact up in some places around timmins canada and different places up around the arctic circle uh it's minus 60 degrees fahrenheit i mean it's super cold but they got a fire burning in the house. Maybe they have their heat pump running. It's nice and warm inside because the insulation is designed to keep the heat in and the cold out. So this is what happens with the heat treatment. When you use a heat machine in a, in a room or an apartment, you're gonna get rid of the bugs that are crawling around alive in the room. Yeah, they'll, they'll die, they'll die. The ones that don't get away, they'll die. But the ones that are laid up in the wall, hiding away from the heat, they don't die. They, and this is why, maybe you're watching this video because you're frustrated as to why the heat treatment didn't work. 
Well, let me explain to you the reason it didn't work. The reason it didn't work is because the bed bugs weren't in the room when the heat was on. And when the heat gets cut off, there's no residue. There's nothing there to kill the bed bugs as the temperature starts to drop down to where it's more comfortable to sleep or more comfortable to be in the room, period. So what has happened in five years? What have exterminators been doing since... I mean, heat treatments don't work. They, they don't work, not on their own. In fact, if you go and watch that video that I posted at the very beginning, that video itself, you go read the comments in that video. Exterminators will say, oh, you're, not, you're full of crap. You're not telling the truth. We do chemicals too. Well, you'd have to do chemicals too because if you didn't do a chemical application, you're not going to kill any of the bed bugs that retreat out of the wall or come back out of the wall when the heat gets turned off. You're not going to get rid of the bugs if you don't do a chemical treatment. So, chemical is the way to go. Always, always has been, always will be. Never will be a better option than a pesticide application. It's been five years since I made that video. Five years and nothing has changed at all. The only thing that's changed are the pesticides available to us. Now, back in the day, people used to use things like DDT and uh, synthetic pyrethroids. In fact, there are some companies even to this day that use synthetic pyrethroids to get rid of bed bugs and they are ineffective. The reason why is because bed bugs started to develop an immunity to DDT. This happened back in the 70s, the 60s and the 70s. And so bed bugs stopped dying. That's what that means. They were resistant, chemical resistant to DDT. But DDT was on its way out. The, the government outlawed DDT. They, they took it off the market and they replaced it with the synthetic pyrethroid. Now synthetic pyrethroids are very similar to natural chemicals that occur in the environment, like chrysanthemums and marigold. They produce pyrethrins. And a synthetic pyrethroid is just like a pyrethrin, except it's molecularly enhanced to last longer. So while it's a very safe pesticide, for the most part, it's pretty safe, um, it, the bed bugs can build an immunity to it faster than some other man-made pesticides. Reason being is because it mimics natural pesticides that are found in the environment that a lot of bugs kind of get used to being around anyway. So they're able to develop this immunity uh, awfully fast and then they, they stop dying from the pesticides. So they have to invent new synthetic pyrethroids. They have to arrange the molecules in a different way and like with cypermethrin and permethrin. These are two synthetic pyrethroids that are very similar, but a little different molecularly. And so you have a little bit of a different pesticide, and so it'll kill bugs for a little while longer. So this is one of the problems with why you can't get rid of bed bugs on your own. This is why when you go to Walmart or Target or Home Depot or Lowe's or you know, any of these stores, any of your farm stores or, you know, tractor supply, you know, any of these places that you, that you go and purchase pesticides, one of the reasons that the bed bugs aren't dying from the pesticides you're purchasing is because mostly the, the, uh, the community is only able to get a hold of synthetic pyrethroids, which, like I was saying, the bed bugs, roaches, fleas, lots of bugs develop an immunity to synthetic pyrethroids rather quickly. So what do you do as a consumer? Well, they've come out with a newer family of pesticides. So we have, we talked about DDT and organophosphates, uh, chlorinated hydrocarbons. These are two of the pesticides that are pretty much off of the scene. We don't really have them anymore. Um, but then synthetic pyrethroids are still around. And now they have a newer pesticide on the market called a neonicotinoid. A neonicotinoid is a man-made pesticide that is very toxic to social insects. What does that mean? So ants are considered social insects. Bees 
are social insects because they communicate with each other socially and they get on Facebook and they send pictures to one another. Um, nah, I'm kidding. But, but uh, the point is, is that social insects, what happens is bed bugs are similar in just like cockroaches and bed bugs. They're not, they don't really take care of one another, but they'll crawl over top of one another. And so a lot of these neonicotinoids, the way they work is they work through transference. So transference is a newer way that pesticides kill bugs. It, it's when a bug comes into contact with the chemical, goes back and crawls over other bugs of its similar or same type or even different bugs, it transfers. So basically it's like if you go to the bathroom and then you don't wash your hands and you come out and you shake somebody's hand, that's called transference and it's called gross. But the thing is, is that the transference is what is killing the bed bugs that don't necessarily come into contact with the pesticides. So when you treat with something like Crossfire, Crossfire is a neonicotinoid. It is a very good pesticide for bed bugs. And when the bed bugs crawl, well, one thing, the reason why it works so well, and this has nothing to do with the fact that it's a neonicotinoid, um, except for the fact that it just hasn't been in the market for very long and the bed bugs haven't developed an immunity to it yet. They can develop immunities to neonics. It is absolutely possible for bugs to develop an immunity to neonic. But what happens is Crossfire is a little different than other neonicotinoids in that it is a non repellent. It is a non-repellent pesticide. So what happens is when the bed bugs actually come out, they don't see that the bed's treated. They don't see that the box spring is treated. They don't know that the baseboards are treated. They don't know anything has been treated. They just know that there is a delicious, you know, fat exterminator man like me laying in the bed and they want, they want to come out and take a bite out of me. And they will. They'll come out and they'll bite me. But in the meantime, they've crawled over a chemically treated bed, bed, you know, a headboard or a footboard or a bed rail or a box spring or a mattress. And so this is why the Crossfire works so well is because before Crossfire, we used highly repellent pesticides, pesticides that were designed to keep them away. Because I mean, who in their right mind would want a bug crawling on them? You want to try to get away from me get away from me. And so the idea was if we spray enough uh, repellents and we keep a repellent barrier around the bed that the bed bugs can't crawl through, well, eventually they'll starve to death. At least that's the idea. But now we know that bed bugs can live up to 18 months without a blood meal. So that would mean you would have to pay for monthly pest control or apply pesticides either once every two weeks or once a month every month for nearly two years. That is a really long time. And if you ever lapse, but let's say you go out of town for two weeks and you come back and you weren't able to spray your house during the period you would have needed to do it. Well, now you got to start all over from scratch because most pesticides don't last past 30 days. So in order to keep that constant barrier around you, the food source, you have to spray like I said, every two to four weeks, you have to religiously treat your house for almost two years. And even then, if the bed bugs are immune to the pesticide, well, you're not going to kill them anyway. You're just wasting your money and you're wasting your time. And you've spent two years spraying your beds and spraying your box springs and spraying your uh, baseboards and all the different areas in the house. And the bed bugs never die because they're not actually going to be killed by the pesticide they've become resistant to. So they invented Crossfire. And Crossfire is one of the first of its kind that are actually a non-repellent bed bug insecticide where the bed bugs do not see the pesticide. They do not know it's there. It kills them. They don't have a resistance to it, at least not yet and you just absolutely flat out will eliminate your bed bug problem. You don't have to spend 
thousands of dollars on a heat treatment that won't work, that has no residual, that once the heater is turned off, it's off, it's done, it's finished. There's no residual from a heat treatment. Bed bugs live in the wall for months without a blood meal. If you were a landlord and you evicted your tenants and came back six months to a year later to re-rent the apartment, there would still be bed bugs in there waiting to munch on somebody. That's the point. That is why you need to be proactive. You need to treat these things with a liquid pesticide, not stop playing around and trying to sell people something they don't need, they don't, they don't want to spend a fortune. They're willing to spend a fortune to get rid of their bugs, but why lie to people and tell them that, oh, heat treatment's the best thing, it's the only option? Heat will kill everything in the room that is in the room. As long as everything is the right temperature, the bugs will die. Okay? That's true. They will. But then when the heat is turned off, the bugs no longer die. The bugs that are hiding in the wall that will come out and will reproduce again and will grow in numbers again, they will come back out and they will start biting you and they will start reproducing and you will have this problem. Typically within three to six months, they will be as if they never were anywhere ever, that they were always there. So, in closing, I want to point out that heat treatments are just not a viable option. The only reason that you would pay for a heat treatment is if you wanted to try to kill everything in the room immediately right away um, and then spray with a liquid residue so that hopefully you will have a one and done service. But I'll tell you this, Crossfire kills bed bugs within five minutes of treating. It kills live bed bugs. It kills every stage of bed bugs. It kills the eggs as long as they have not been laid in the female because she would. That sounds funny. All right, so bed bugs, if they don't lay their eggs and the female dies, the eggs don't. The eggs aren't viable. Uh, some bugs, if you kill them, um, the eggs are still viable. The eggs can still hatch even though the uh, mother died. So if you kill your bed bugs with crossfire, like I said, within five minutes, all live bugs are dead. Eggs hatch within six to 10 days. The eggs are hatched. The babies crawl through the chemical and they die too. Typically, two to three weeks is all it takes to get rid of your bed bugs. You'll save thousands of dollars over a heat treatment. And Yes, it's going to be obnoxious. They're going to be loosening around and crawling and stuff and dying, and that's normal as the ones crawl out of the wall. But you're going to deal with that anyway, whether you do a heat treatment or not. If you do a heat treatment, you're, you're going to kill all the bugs in the room. If you do a crossfire treatment, you're going to, treat, you're going to kill all the bugs in the room. If you do a, a heat treatment, you're going to kill all the bugs in the room, and there's going to still be bugs in the wall. If you do a crossfire treatment, you're going to kill all the bugs in the room and there's still going to be bugs in the wall. The truth is, is that the bugs are still in the wall and nothing can get to the bugs that are in the wall except for time because they will eventually come out. They will eventually come out of the wall and crawl through the chemical and die. And the exterminator is trying to sell you this plan, this bed bug plan, as a solution when really all you need is a liquid application and check my Amazon page I have crossfire listed there if you want to know how much it costs every now and then it goes on sale and they might reduce the cost of a bottle to you know five or six dollars and stuff so I usually just tell people to bookmark my page and check the prices regularly and you can get pretty good deals um, but MGK doesn't pay me to sell their product I don't make money because people buy crossfire I don't work for MGK. I work for myself. I just know that this has helped a lot of people. And this, you know, I have over 22 years of experience killing bed bugs. And I can teach you how to kill bed bugs on your own for free. You watch me on YouTube, you follow my videos, 
And I do have a bed bug course in the description below. That is a fee. Usually it's like 12 bucks, I think, for the whole entire course. If you want to go down and check it out, you can go and follow the link. Uh, if you've never used the website before, um, I think it's only $12. I, I'm not really sure. They run specials all the time. I'm not really in charge of any of the pricing. But uh, so if you want to go down and take a look at that, by all means, peek over and see my course. But like I said, everything's here on YouTube. It's all free. And uh, all you'd have to do is buy the Crossfire and the spray can to mix it in. And you can kill bed bugs on your own. So you guys have a really great deal. Oh, so heat treatments, are they still a viable solution five years later? No, they're not. Give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. And until then, see you on my live streams. Come ask questions. Bye.